These are the top five studio monitors for home studios in no particular order because despite what the pros have told you, these all sound drastically different and it all comes down to personal preference. Here's a couple of things you need to know before we get started. Number one, I'm not going to tell you anything you don't need to know about them and make this video unnecessarily long. Number two, to get the best performance from your speakers, you need to acoustically treat your room. Thirdly, in this list, more expensive does not necessarily mean better. Number four, all the speakers in this list can be found in the description below the like button and number five i'm just gonna list them and tell you what they're best for cool cool so i'm gonna start with my personal favorites and those are the karaoke classic fives or the karaoke rocket 5 g4 now these are more or less the same speaker from the same generation of karaoke it's just that the classic fives come with the older design for the people that prefer it i.e me and then the rocket 5 g4s come with a different design and they have a screen at the back and they also made from different materials but these are more or less the same speaker and they sound almost identical these speakers are best suited for hip-hop and edm producers because of that bass now it is not necessarily louder but it's punchier and grittier and just clear as opposed to other speakers in this list that tend to have a somewhat boomy bass at the time of recording this video the karaoke classic fives go for a hundred dollars each so that's gonna be two hundred dollars for the pair and then the karaoke rocket fives go for three hundred and seventy eight dollars for the pair number two on this list is the yamaha hs fives which get a lot of praise from the producer and engineer communities now these have the best stereo imaging in this list and they have arguably the most honest sound so these are based off the now discontinued yamaha ns10 which is said to be the best studio monitor ever created however that statement can be misleading if you don't know where it comes from so the ns10 was said to be the best because they sounded so bad Bruh. that if you could make anything sound good on them then it's gonna sound good anywhere else the yamahas are great but i personally would not recommend the hs5s because they're so flat that the bass is almost absent if i were to pick up a pair of yamahas i'd go for the hs7s or the hs8s which are bigger and have a more present bass by the way buying a bigger version of any of the speakers listed here will give you a much better and louder sound especially in the bass but it all depends on the size of your room generally it's a bad idea to have big speakers in a small room and vice versa at the time of recording this video the yamahas go for 400 dollars for the pair next on the list is the presonus e5 now these have a reasonably flat sound however where they lack is in the detail of that sound that's not enough to make your mixes sound bad but it's worth mentioning there's another version of them the e5 xt which is slightly more expensive but it fixes the detail of the sound especially in the high end these speakers are the best value for money and there's no denying that they just look great now at the time of recording this video the e5s go for 100 dollars each and the xt version goes for 120 each so that's 200 dollars for a pair of the e5s and 240 dollars for a pair of the xt version number four on this list is the atom audio t5 v now the fact that it's number four on the list does not mean that it falls fourth in terms of the quality of the sound these are quite literally the cheapest speakers made by atom audio they're most recognizable by the ribbon tweeter that's more suitable for longer sessions because they cost less ear fatigue than the other ones the bass on these is not as punchy as the karaoke's but it's still clear and the stereo imaging i would say is on par with the yamaha's at the time of recording this video the t5v's go for 400 dollars for the pair and last on the list is the jbl 305p mark ii they're very decent but i have to be honest they just look weird the glossy finish is a fingerprint magnet and it just doesn't look right looks aside though these sound decent despite the fact that they were made by a company that usually makes consumer speakers and that's probably the number one reason why i personally would not buy them because they're made by jbl jbl makes consumer electronics so it won't sit right with me to know that i'm mixing a song using jbl speakers it, ju it just doesn't sound right at the time of recording this video these go for 250 dollars for the pair for midi keyboard recommendations check out this video and thank you for watching catch you in the next one peace